Since the Taliban seized control of Afghanistan in August 2021, the risk of mass atrocities has increased for vulnerable groups, including ethnic and religious minorities. The Hazara community is experiencing increasing and widespread attacks alongside a history of persecution, necessitating an immediate response by the international community. A report. These disturbing images of upturned tables and benches and the damaged classrooms give some insight into the endless pain and suffering that the Hazara community in Afghanistan experiences. The Hazara students of Kaj Tuition Center, a private educational institute in Kabul, were taking mock exams in crowded classrooms when a bomb ripped through the building, killing dozens of students, a majority of whom were female. According to reports, the assailant shot at guards outside the educational facility before entering the classroom where he detonated the bomb. This was the second assault on a school this year in the Dashte Barchi neighborhood of the Afghan capital, which is home to a large Hazara population. The horrible tragedy is the most recent in a string of attacks in regions where the minority Shiite community calls home, another example of the Taliban's failure to protect minorities. <laughs> The explosion triggered outrage and leaders and activists from around the world have decried the incident. The United Nations Security Council members have emphasized the importance of apprehending and prosecuting those responsible for these terrorist acts in Afghanistan. India has also condemned the continued targeting of students at educational institutes in Afghanistan. The violent persecution of the Afghan Shia community goes back more than a century, but has reached unprecedented levels in the last one year under the Taliban. The targeting of Hazara houses of worship, schools, and other public places has intensified since the Taliban took control last year. In the last one year, the Islamic State of Khorasan has claimed responsibility for 13 attacks against Hazaras. Approximately 700 people have been killed or injured in these attacks. Last month, the Hazara Inquiry, an inquiry into the situation of the Hazara community in Afghanistan and Pakistan, run by British parliamentarians and experts, published its reports on the dire situation of the Hazara community in Afghanistan. The reports revealed that the religious and ethnic minority are at serious risk of genocide at the hands of the Islamic State Khorasan and the Taliban. Many Hazara Shias migrated to Pakistan in earlier decades, hoping to find a safe haven there, only to be targeted ruthlessly by the Lashkar-e-Jangvi terrorist group. Anti-Shia outfits in Pakistan, like Lashkar-e-Jangvi and Sipahi Sahaba, have been continuously targeting Shias in Pakistan. According to a report by the International Forum for Rights and Security, Pakistan has witnessed the killing of approximately 4,847 Shias in incidents of sectarian violence between 2001 and 2018. Shias have nowhere to go as they are threatened on both sides of the border. The only porous border that remains is the border with Pakistan. Given the fact that anti-Shia hatred has originated in Pakistan, it, is, it was very unlikely that Pakistan would be a safe haven for the uh, Hazaras. The Hazaras are one of many ethnic groups in Afghanistan and are also one of the larger minority groups in neighboring Pakistan. The Hazaras' ideologies mostly align with the Shiite Muslim community and are frequently targeted by the Taliban, who follow a stricter version of Sunni beliefs of Islam. With the re-establishment of the Islamic Emirate in Afghanistan, the future looks bleak for the persecuted communities in the country.